what's happening in Palestine, the easiest way to explain their current situation. Imagine someone lost their home, so you let them crash at your place until they find a better place to stay. But after a short while, they start bringing their friends and family to your house and more people and more people and more. Then they lock you in a room to make a space for all the extra people and you are only allowed to come out with their permission. You also have to ask them before you use your own kitchen, bathroom, windows, access food or go anywhere. Sometimes they will say yes, you're allowed to use your own things, but most of the time they will deny your request. And if you ask for your home back, they will tell everyone how horrible you are and fight with you. To simplify the reality, the Arab Muslims, Arab Christians and Arab Jews lived in harmony for many years, especially in Jerusalem. The three Abrahamic religions share many historic landmarks, even places of worship, side by side, demonstrating strong unity, support, respect amongst, amongst the group. After the Holocaust, as anti-Semitism grew in Europe, many Jews were kicked out making them refugee. Palestine took in most of the Jewish refugee. However, as anti-Semitism got worse in Europe, the Zionist movement began in the 19th century, an ideology that wanted a Jewish-only state. To get rid of all the Jewish from Europe, Britain stepped in and decided to give away Palestinian land to European Jews without consulting with the United Nations, surrounding Arab countries and Palestinian themselves. Eventually, temporary peace was made and land was divided. However, the Zionists wanted more and more and more. Britain and United Nations stepped in once again and split the land to each group. However, the Zionist land ended up getting all the agriculture, technology, transport, resources, whereas the Palestinians were left with nothing. This soon got worse as Palestinians were denied resources and their homes were illegally occupied and movement was restricted. In 1948, David Ben-Gurion, then the head of the World Zionist Organization, announced the founding of the State of Israel in Palestine. Today, there are approximately 7 million Palestinian refugees. People have no idea. I didn't even know what the hell was going on until I went to Palestine and saw how crazy it was. But What man. is it like? Tell me, give me your thoughts and your So experience. everyone mistakenly thinks that Hamas like controls Palestine. That's not true at all. There's, there's three different areas that were drawn up with the original partition. It's the West Bank, which is totally under military rule by Israel. And then there's the Gaza Strip, which is like the open air prison, which they bomb the shit out of like every couple of years and Hamas controls that area. And then there's Jerusalem, which is an international city center um, that both Arabs and Jews live in. But the West Bank has been occupied militarily since 1967 and it's complete martial law. There's checkpoints. All political parties are illegal. You can't having a gun is like the least of it. You can't hold a flag. You can't belong to a political party. You literally can't do shit. If you're a Palestinian, you just have to sit there and submit. Um, and if even if you share a photo of someone who was like killed by an Israeli soldier, you go to jail and you go to jail for the amount of like months that. What? Yeah. Based on the shares and likes of the photo, they'll they'll penalize you more and put you in prison for longer and longer. I mean, I'll, I'll just Wait, tell you, you one so story. If you put a photo on social media like you put of someone on who Facebook. died and they'll be like, you're sharing a martyr and inciting people to like commit suicide, like on behalf of Palestinians, you go to jail and, and they put them in jail. There's. 99.7% conviction rate, kids are tortured, kids are in prison. It is absolutely insane. We went to, the first day that we were there, we went to a funeral of some guy, some farmer who was shot by Israeli forces, and we went to the funeral, it was horrible, you know, all the women are wailing and crying, and as we're leaving, the Israeli forces had set up a checkpoint right outside of this dude's house and started tear gassing and shooting rubber bullets like at people who were simply attending the funeral, just to punish people for attending the funeral. Um, we went to another girl's house named Aya, who's uh, who got shot in the vagina for peacefully protesting at some protest, and they, they shot, shot two. They shot they shot two hundred people that day. One guy next to her died. Another guy was paralyzed. They have a policy called shoot to cripple, where they shoot guys in the dicks. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking nuts, man. The West Bank is no joke. I thought that I was gonna die several times. We were at this checkpoint going through Kalandia. And there was this old man walking, like clearly drunk or something, and kind of like walking a little bit toward the checkpoint. They started shooting at him. Bullets are ricocheting off the thing. 
And I, you know, my partner, Mike, who was an invading soldier of Iraq, was just like, we're going to die. Like, they're shooting this guy. There's bullets ricocheting. I, it was absolutely insane. And as we go through the checkpoint, the soldier's like, hey, stay safe out there. And I was like, yeah, when you guys are arbitrarily shooting people. And, and the person who was driving us had just told us that a couple months prior to that, some woman, Palestinian woman, because you can't go to Jerusalem, like if you're Palestinian, there's like barely any Palestinians who are even allowed to go pray at the most holy site, the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. You can't go to the beach. You're just completely constricted in a prison and you can't travel. And, and he was just telling us that months before we went through this checkpoint, someone was going through the checkpoint because they got a permit to go into Jerusalem, which is like a lifetime golden ticket, like Willy Wonka. And they're walking and they get, and she just got executed. And then, what? yeah, she just got executed and she was bleeding out at this checkpoint and her little brother tried to help her and they shot him too. And they're like hiding the video of this. And this is just a day, because they fucking hate Palestinians and Palestinians are, are animals to these people. It's sick, man. It's sick. It's really, really sick, Joe. And I, I couldn't even get into Gaza. We were banned from going into this territory because I was told by the Israeli government that I was a propagandist and that I was like an enemy agent. And so I wasn't allowed to go into Gaza. So Gaza's hell, but the West Bank is in under martial law and everything's illegal and you can't do a goddamn thing. Fiona. الشباب لن يكل همه أن يستقل أو يبي أو يبي نستقي من الردى ولن نكون للعدا كالعبيد كالعبيد لا نريد ذلنا المؤبد وعيشنا المنكد ذلنا المؤبد وعيشنا المنكد لا نريد بل نعيد مجدنا التليد مجدنا التليد Yeah. 